In this video, I would like to show you how to create a simple gateway configuration with a Bircard communicator in the offline mode. Select the offline mode and the gateway ME43. You can also select another device like the Masterflow controller, for example. The next step is to select the right protocol for your gateway. For this, go to the tab Industrial Communication and select the right protocol. Let's say, for example, Profinet. Once this step is done, you're ready to start with the configuration. Under this tab, you can either edit an existing configuration or start a new one. Let's begin with a new configuration. You may change the default device and the network settings if you wish to do so. Otherwise, let's proceed. The main step of this configuration is to declare the input and output variables which will be exchanged with the PLC. To make this simpler, we've created a product catalog for you. Under the category mass flow controllers, you can find the right type of the device. By simply dragging and dropping it here, the following pop-up window appears where you can see change the device name, change the count of the devices, and even add or remove the right process values that you want to transmit to the PLC. The actual flow, the current duty cycle, the Namua status, and the set point are pre-selected values. But if you wish to add the medium temperature to it, you can simply select it here or remove it. Let's proceed to the next step. Once all the values have been selected, for all the devices, here's an overview of all the values that are going to be transmitted to and from the PLC. The next step will be to save this configuration. Save it to any folder in your laptop, and let's proceed. The configuration is saved in a folder, and the most important file for the customer is the PLC file. For Profinet, the GSTML file is created. There are also a few help files with all the details of the parameters. Now let's proceed to the last step of the configuration, which is the mapping between the gateway and the field devices, in this case, the MFC. For this, select the tab Network Configuration. Now we have the gateway and the MFC right next to each other. The mapping can be done by simply creating lines between the right values. The actual flow can be connected to the actual flow of the gateway, the current du duty cycle in this manner, the set point value can be assigned, and the Namua status as a feedback from the device. Once this mapping or connections have been made, apply changes so that the gateway can load this configuration and restart. As you can see, all these connections have been accepted by the gateway and have been read into it. Now, this is the last step of the configuration.